Are you sure about this, Amanda? Yeah, it seemed pretty clear to me that Marley was seriously considering breaking it off with Jake. She can't do this to me. What? I'm sorry. Um, Amanda, I have to go. I have to go see Marley. Wait a second. Paulina, I thought you'd be happy. Well, have... Marley isn't going to be hurt the way you were. We'll do it again another time, okay? I'm really sorry, but I have to go. Oh, good. Vicky, have you seen Marley? Do you know where she is? Why is it any of your business? Answer the question, sister? Vicky. Where the hell is Marley? Do you think I would tell you anything about my sister? I could make you do just about anything I want. Over your dead body. You better watch who you threaten, Vicky. No, honey. You're the one who should be watching themselves. Because oh, yeah. I... Why don't we go for a drive? Amanda, Amanda. You with Jamie and Marley, where is she? Dropped. Dead. Foiled again, loser. Looks like I'm just gonna have to shake it out of you, Do huh, You are dead meat, McKinnon. You know what's funny? No, nothing where you're concerned is funny, Jake. I don't know what you've got, Harrison. But this lady spent so much of her life dodging cops, I can't believe she's hanging around with you. Come on. Yeah? Could we get a table, please? Mm hmm Did she tell you about her last escapade with the law? What's she talking Jake. about? Guess she has it. Jake? Shut. She kidnapped her son, took him to Pennsylvania. There was a statewide manhunt, the whole thing. I hate you. I bet you do, Vicky. Because I know what you really are. You think you know who I really yes, am? Yes, I do. I know every little trick of yours. Don't be so sure. I think we've had enough of this banner for one evening. You don't have a heart, Jake. That's why nobody loves you. Marley loves me. That's why I dumped you for her. And she's been paying for it ever since. She's never stopped loving me. That's... Jake. She's mine. Jake, if she's so crazy about you, then how come you can't find her? You know, you tried to break us up before. It didn't work, and it's not going to work <laughs> yes, this time will, honey. Yes, it will. Because last time I did it for me, and this time I'm doing it for Marley, there is nothing, nothing I wouldn't do to keep you out of her life. Nothing. She's mine. <laughs> See you in hell first. Can you please get a drink? Better? I'm sorry you keep seeing me at my worst. I just wish you could walk away when Jake baits you like Can that. Can I change the subject? I'd love to. How come, uh... How come you never told me about uh, taking Stephen away from his father? Uh, it was just a really hard time for me. Being in a courtroom is really awful. Everyone stares at you and accuses you. I just, I just couldn't go through something like that again. I want to know everything about her. You do? Yeah, can't you tell? You still haven't told me how I did today. You're changing the subject. Yes, I am. Well, you want to find out if you've become a better horseback rider? Mm-hmm. Well, when you do what I say, you're not half bad. But I, I don't do what you say enough. Not yet. Well, when, when you told me to do that thing with my knees, mm -hmm. I, I did that. Right? Yeah, you did. And then when you told me to go with the movement rather than lead the movement myself. Mm. You've got to um, go in with your mount. And, and I control my ride. Mm -hmm. That's right. There's still something I'm not sure of. I'm listening. When do I use my riding crop? That is a very delicate, mm. delicate issue. Teach me. I uh, think it can be arranged. Maybe. Hmm. Tonight? Um. I had something else in mind for tonight. Mm -hmm. The opera. The opera. La Bohème. <laughs> no. Bohème. La Bohème. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. You're serious? Yes, I'm totally serious. My father gave me two box seats. Well, I guess, uh, 
I guess Lavo Land is perfect opera for a newcomer. So you're inviting me? You you like opera? Mm hmm I spent a little while in New York City, and I would go to uh, Standing Room Ow. once, twice, maybe even three times I've a week. I've created a monster. Mm, I've got a tux, too. Yes, that I remember. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll take you back to your place, mm. and then you can change. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I'll go back to my place, and I can change. And uh, then maybe after the opera, we can go back to my place and change again. Maybe during the intermission, because I don't think I'm going to like it. Oh, no. You're going to love it. All right, this could take a lot of time. What is... Well, I've got to decide what I'm going to wear tonight. Vicky. Hmm. I don't want to miss the curtain. The first act is really beautiful. <laughs> you are really into this, aren't you? Um, what is that? My beeper. I know what a beeper is. Uh, I used to be married to a doctor, remember? I'm on call. Yes, but you're a cop. Cops can be on call. Ryan, I don't want to go to this thing alone. I'm not going to understand any of it, and I don't understand German. Lava Wem is an Italian. Well, you see there? Right. Sit tight, and uh, I'm going to take care of this, because it's probably not anything. Okay. Hi, Alice, it's Harrison. Uh-huh. Yeah. No! No, look, I've got a date tonight, and I'm not going to cancel it just because O'Malley's got a hangnail. That a boy! Yeah? He said that? Yeah. I, I, look, I said yeah, didn't I? Look, I'm not yelling at you, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'll be there in... 15 minutes. No. No. Look, I can't no, get out of it. No, I don't want to go to this thing alone. <sighs> Look, why don't you give me a ticket and I'll uh, meet you by the second act. All right, all right. Why don't you give me a little story summary before you go because I'm not going to understand this. Well, it's a love story, so I'm sure you can figure it out. You promise you'll try and show up? I promise. You're going to give me a kiss? Mm, I think I can do that. Mm hmm? <laughs> and there's no popcorn at the opera, so uh -huh. you better eat something before you go oh, there. I'll just put a bag of potato chips in my purse. Vicky. <laughs> I'm now go be a good cop and, and answer your phones, and you get your butt over to the opera house in one hour. Okay. One hour I'm giving you. Thanks. Another one. <laughs> mm. Bye. Bye. Oh. I thought I heard you come in. Uh, what do you wear to the opera? Jamie came by and took Stephen back to his house. Why? Well, because I didn't know when you were coming home, and I've got to go out. Where are you going? Um, I'm uh, going to give my ring back to Jake. Really? Yeah. It's not going to work between us. Well, are, are you okay? I'm a little shaky. Well, just uh, say what you have to say. Don't let him twist your words and get out of there, okay? You've been really wonderful, Vicky. You've never pushed me, and I know that you've always been supporting me. Thank you. Want me to come with you? No. I can handle Jake. I'm, I'm really proud of you. I've got to call him. All right, I'm, I'm going to go to the opera tonight. Okay, don't wear anything of mine. And don't wear leather. <laughs> I won't. You're going to do great, kid. Hello? Um, Jake, it's, it's Marley. Marley, I've been looking everywhere for you. You all right? Yes, I, I'm fine. What's going on there? I'm, uh, working. Where have you been? I, I spent last night with a friend. Do you want to come over? Yes, I do. Very much. Listen, I, I've got this this great idea, and I'll uh, I'll tell you about it when you get here. All right? 
Yes, I, I have to tell you something too. Yeah. I love you. I'll see you soon. I miss you. Jake, it's Paulina. What do you want? I have to speak to you. I'm busy. It's important, Jake. Please. You need to get out of my life. You paid the money. You took your best shot. Now stay away from me. You can always count on the tenants of Melrose Place for a scorching hot, super scandalous roll in the hay. Don't miss all the bed hopping on Melrose Place. Today at 3, only on SoapNet.